the st elevation might return back to baseline post intervention or within one or two days and the other changes will start appearing other changes of the myocardial injury start appearing Hi guys, welcome to Prep Ladder YouTube channel. This is Dr. Patil here and today I'm going to take you through one of the treasures from the Prep Ladder app. So in this treasure, we will be learning how to differentiate between acute pericarditis and ST elevation myocardial infarction because in both conditions, we do see ST elevations, right? Okay. Now in case of pericarditis, the ST elevation is extensive, not generally not restricted to one or two vessel territory, which is a usual case in case of the STEMI. So in case of pericarditis, Almost all the leads, there may be ST elevation, except sometimes V1 you may not see and AVR being a flipped lead, you generally do not see there. Otherwise, most of the leads you are seeing ST elevation. The nature of this ST elevation is more likely to be concave upwards. So, the ST elevation might look like this. More concave rather than convex like this. Clear? So, you will be seeing a concave upward ST elevation. Now, the ST elevation in pericarditis will remain elevated for several days and then it will reverse to the baseline because acute pericarditis runs over days, not over hours. But in case of acute MI, the ST elevation might return back to baseline post intervention or within one or two days and the other changes will start appearing. Other changes of the myocardial injury start appearing. The pathological Q waves and the T inversion that will start appearing. Okay. Now, the ST elevation in case of uh, STEMI kind of MI is generally going to be convex upwards. Okay. And you might have the reciprocal leads if it is involving the area of the myocardium which has a reciprocal representation. Like for example, if there is an inferior, inferior and lateral leads act as reciprocal to each other. So, if there is an inferior MI, in that case in 2, 3 and AVF, you will have ST elevation and in 1 and AVL particularly you will have ST depression as the reciprocal change. Okay. The other thing you also need to note is in case of the pericarditis there is also the PR segment depression. PR segment depression often P TP segment also. So that is very typical of pericarditis that you won't see in the STEMI. So this is how quickly you can learn to differentiate between the pericarditis and STEMI. Point to note is Prep Ladder Neat SS app has thousands of such treasures which can help you in quickly revising topics, especially the high yield topics. So please go through the Prep Ladder app and utilize the treasures maximally so that your re revision is accelerated. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.